Thank you for taking the time to watch this video to learn about Medicare and your insurance options. My name is Kelly and I'm with the Integris Health Partners Plus marketing team. This video series is presented in chapters so you can jump to the information you need. For those of you that are new to Medicare, it's best to start at the beginning. If you would rather attend a full seminar in person, go to the seminar registration page on our website and find a meeting near you. And of course, our Medicare sales team is available to help you as well. Just give us a call. Here are the topics we'll be covering. Medicare, when and how to enroll, original Medicare premiums and benefits and what it doesn't cover, your options for additional coverage, which would be Medicare supplements and Medicare Advantage plans. Then we'll talk about Integris Health Partners Plus, powered by Community Care. We'll show you the benefits included in our plans and then go over your enrollment timeline. And of course, my team is here to help you. The phone number will be visible throughout this presentation, or you can click the Contact Us button to send us an email. Integris Health's mission is partnering with people to live healthier lives, which is why we're excited to offer this plan. So, let's get started with Medicare. In this section, I'll talk about Medicare, what it is, when to enroll, how much it costs, and what it covers. Obviously, I can't go over every possible situation and circumstance. But I'll give you the basics, and if you need more, call and talk to one of my Integris Health teammates, and we'll get you the information you need. So, people are generally eligible to enroll in Medicare when they turn 65. Some people are eligible due to a disability, but for simplicity, let's talk about those who are aging in. If you're turning 65 and are not covered under an employer plan, either as an active employee or the dependent of an active employee, you will need to enroll in Medicare A and B. If you are still working or covered by someone that is and have insurance through your employer, you may be able to delay your Part B until you leave your employer coverage. So, if you have questions about whether or not to delay enrolling in Medicare, you can call us and we'll help you find the resources you need. Okay, let's move on to how to enroll. If you started collecting your Social Security or Railroad Retirement benefits early, you will be automatically enrolled in both Medicare A and B. Remember that if you're covered under an employer plan, you can delay your Part B. If you did not start your Social Security benefits early, you should take action before you turn 65. You can start the enrollment process as early as three months before your 65th birth month. You enroll in Medicare through Social Security. You can enroll online at ssa.gov. Select Medicare from the menu and you'll find the Medicare application. You can also enroll at your local Social Security office. Now, if you're over 65 and retiring, you will have an extra step. You'll need to apply for Part B and provide proof of coverage in order to enroll and avoid penalties and waiting periods. Call my team and we'll get you the forms and the information you'll need. Now, let's talk about the cost of Medicare. For most people, there is no premium for Part A because you paid for that with your payroll taxes. Part B does have a monthly premium. If you're receiving your Social Security or Railroad Retiree benefits, your Part B premium will be withheld from that. Keep in mind that Part B premiums are higher if you were a high income earner. You'll be notified if your premiums have an income adjustment. You can also find more information about the rules for high income earners on the Social Security website. So, that's what Original Medicare costs, but what does it cover and what are your out-of-pocket costs? So Part A is the hospital coverage and Part B is medical. Part A would cover things like inpatient hospital stays, hospice, skilled nursing. Part B covers medical services, doctor's visits, durable medical equipment, outpatient surgeries. Together, Part A and Part B are Original Medicare. So if you only have Original Medicare and need medical services, you'll have deductibles to meet and then there's a 20% coinsurance and there is no limit to your out-of-pocket costs. If you have a lot of medical services during a calendar year, that 20% can really add up. There are also limits on the number of lifetime inpatient days you have and no coverage for medical services outside of the United States. There's no coverage for routine dental or vision exams, hearing aids, or even outpatient prescription drugs. So people generally want to add some type of coverage to their Medicare. And that's what we'll cover next. You have a couple of different options to add to original Medicare. One is a Medicare Supplement Plan, or Medigap, and the other is a Medicare Advantage Plan, also known as Medicare Part C. We'll start with Medicare Supplements, or Medigap plans. As the name suggests, these plans supplement Original Medicare. In other words, Medicare pays first, 
then the supplement will pick up most of the balance. But if Medicare doesn't cover a service, the Medigap plan generally doesn't cover it either. So you may still lack coverage for things like dental and vision care. And you also still don't have coverage for outpatient prescription drugs. Those are covered by a Part D plan, which is a drug plan that you can purchase from an insurance company. Some people choose a Medigap plan for the freedom it offers. You can see any doctor that accepts Medicare, so you have a lot of options for your medical services. But that freedom does come at a cost. When you have freedom to see any doctor you choose and very little out-of-pocket expenses for your medical care, you'll pay for that with higher premiums. In addition, the premiums for a Medigap plan are generally based on your age and sometimes your health conditions. So that means that as you get older, your insurance premiums continue to rise. And if you couple your Medigap plan with additional insurance plans like dental, vision, and a drug plan, that's a lot to keep track of. So let's move on to Medicare Advantage plans or Part C plans. A Medicare Advantage plan combines the original Medicare benefits and usually your Part D benefits under one umbrella. And they often include additional benefits for routine dental and vision coverage and more. Medicare Advantage plans are contracted with Medicare to administer your benefits. What that means to you is that the plan pays your claims. Medicare pays the plan a monthly fee when you join and no longer pays your medical claims. What you'll find is that a Medicare Advantage plan feels very familiar. When you go in for services, you only show your plan ID card and you put your Medicare card away. And you show the same card for all of your covered services, medical, dental, vision, pharmacy, one plan, one card. Medicare Advantage plans typically have a low or no monthly premium and the premium is the same regardless of your age. In fact, the same plans are available regardless of age. If you have Medicare due to a disability, you are eligible for the same Advantage plan as those that are 65 or older. And your premium is the same, regardless of your age or health. Now, because the monthly premiums are so low with these plans, there is a trade-off. With Advantage plans, you'll have some cost sharing for most of your medical services, and you generally have a network of doctors that you have to use in order to maximize your benefits. Eligibility to join a plan is also based on where you live. Medicare Advantage plans generally are contracted to sell their products to residents of certain counties, so to be eligible to enroll, you must live within the plan's service area. Your insurance choices are personal and can be complicated. You'll want to look at your provider choices, what hospital systems you're most comfortable with, with what you can afford as far as monthly premiums or out-of-pocket costs, what additional benefits are important to you, and your prescription drug costs. It's a lot to navigate, and my team is here to help you find the best fit. Now that I've shown you the difference between Medigap and Advantage plans, let's talk about Integris Health Partners Plus. Integris Health has partnered with Community Care to administer the plan, which means you have the strength of Integris Health with the experience of Community Care to offer a provider-based health insurance plan for Medicare eligibles in our service area. Now, Integris Health Partners Plus is an HMO. That means you must get your care from network providers for the plan to work. In other words, you cannot choose to see doctors that are not contracted with Integris Health Partners Plus. Now, this is usually where we get the question, so what happens when I'm traveling? Well, the answer is you take us with you. With Integris Health Partners Plus, you have worldwide coverage for both emergency room visits and urgent care, just as you would when you're at home. So with our plan, you have peace of mind to know that regardless of where you are, you can still get the care you need. So now let's look at your options with Integris Health Partners Plus. You'll see here that we have three different levels of coverage, Choice, Deluxe, and Premier. Now Choice is a medical only plan and does not include Part D. So most people need a plan that includes both medical and Part D, so we'll cover Deluxe and Premier first. On this slide, you'll see a list of common medical services and the copays you would pay for those services. First, you'll see the copays for doctor's visits and then emergency room. Remember that you're covered worldwide for emergency and urgent care visits. No need to call us first. If you're out of the service area, you can go to the nearest facility. Next, you'll see that urgent care has a range of copays. With these plans, your copay is waived if you have a virtual urgent care visit with an Integris facility. The higher copay is for in-person or out-of-area urgent care visits. Moving down the chart, you'll see the copay for outpatient surgery and outpatient diagnostic services. Next is inpatient hospital. You see that the inpatient hospital copay is per day. 
If you're in the hospital longer than the number of days shown, Integris will pay the rest of your covered services for as long as you're in the hospital. There is no limit to the number of inpatient hospital days. Below that are the copays for outpatient rehab and diabetic testing supplies. Now let's talk a little bit about the maximum amount of pocket and what that is. This amount is the most you would pay during a calendar year for your covered medical services. It's an accumulation of your copays throughout the year. Once you reach the maximum amount of pocket limit, Integris Health Partners Plus pays the rest of your covered medical services in full for the rest of the year. So now let's talk about our choice plan. This is the plan that does not include Part D. Many people on this plan have access either to Indian Health or Veterans Benefits, so they don't necessarily need a Part D plan. But we do have many members on the plan that just don't want a Part D plan, and that's fine. Anyone can enroll on a medical-only plan, but we do want to make you aware of two things. One, you cannot add a standalone Part D plan to this choice plan. And two, if you don't have a Part D plan when you're first eligible for Medicare, and you don't have credible coverage through another source like the VA or Indian Health, you will be penalized when you enroll in a Part D plan at a later date. The penalty is about 35 cents per month for every month you don't have drug coverage, and it's a forever penalty. So be mindful when you're making your choices about your drug coverage. Okay, so here are the common benefits of the Choice Plan. You'll see that the co-pays for Choice and Premier are the same. The difference between those two plans is that Choice does not include drug coverage and has a higher medical maximum out of pocket. Another benefit we're excited to introduce is our Hospital at Home benefit. Members meeting certain criteria may be eligible to receive acute level hospital care at home where you'll be monitored 24-7 by the Integris Health Command Center. You'll have in-person nursing visits and regular video visits with the command center nurses and hospitalists. These are obviously the more common benefits that most people use. If you have questions about specific benefits or co-pays and you need more information, be sure to reach out to the Integris Health team. So, now let's look at the extra benefits included on our plans. These are the benefits that you wouldn't get with Original Medicare. Our plans include coverage for comprehensive dental, vision benefits, over-the-counter benefits, and a wallet benefit that lets you choose the benefits that are important to you. Don't forget, if you need more information, give us a call or check out the summary of benefits on our website. Now let's talk about prescription drugs. This can be a big factor to consider when you're deciding about your health insurance options. Now, regardless of how you get Part D coverage, whether it's a plan like ours where the Part D is included, or it's a standalone drug plan, they all have these four stages. Our plans do not have a deductible, so when you start with us, you're in the initial coverage level where you pay a specific copay for most of your prescriptions. This slide shows you the copays for a 30-day supply of prescriptions while you're in the initial coverage limit. What you pay depends on what tier level your drug is in. It's important to check the plan's formulary for your maintenance drug so you'll know what to expect. If you reach this limit, you move into the gap. The next stage of drug coverage is the catastrophic level. Moving to this level is based on your total drug out-of-pocket costs. That's the copays you paid at the beginning of the year plus what you pay in the gap. If you reach that level, you move into catastrophic coverage where you pay a reduced cost for your prescriptions and that carries you through the end of the year when everything resets. A word about this. Social Security does have a program called Extra Help or Low Income Subsidy. Eligibility for this depends on your income and somewhat on your assets. The income limit is not as stringent as it is for Medicaid, so we encourage anyone interested to contact Social Security to see if you qualify for this program. You can apply anytime. If you do qualify for extra help, you'll see a reduced premium for your plan and lower drug costs. And that's a look at Integris Health Partners Plus. Again, I showed you the more common benefits. If you need more information, call my team and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Now we'll talk about how to enroll. Generally, when you enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, you're locked in for the calendar year, meaning that other than some special circumstances, once you choose a plan, that's your plan for the year, so you want to make sure it's the right plan for you. The things we recommend people look at when selecting an insurance plan are, is your doctor in network? What are the costs for your maintenance drugs? Are the monthly premiums and copays affordable? Once you have those answers, you're ready to make your selection. 
You can submit an application for Integris Health Partners Plus up to three months before your effective date. And the application process is easy. You can enroll online, download an application from our website, request an enrollment guide, or simply call us and we can enroll you right over the phone. We're happy to help and we'll make the shopping and enrollment process as painless as possible. Thank you for visiting us today. Choosing your health plan is important and personal. Call us if you have any additional questions or would like a personal visit with a licensed agent or to register to attend an in-person seminar at a location near you. We look forward to hearing from you soon.